Turnstile, Machine Gun Kelly and Gale are among the nominees at the 65th Annual Grammy Awards. The ceremony will take place on February 5th, 2023 in Los Angeles and full nominations have now been revealed. In the rock categories, Olivia Rodrigo announced the nominations, which included three nods for Turnstile, with Blackout nominated for Best Rock Song and Best Metal Performance and Holiday nominated for Best Rock Performance. Both tracks are taken from the album Glow On released last year. Other nominees include Ghost with Call Me Little Sunshine also nominated for Metal Performance alongside Megadeth, Muse and Ozzy Osbourne who is also nominated for Best Rock Song as are the Red Hot Chili Peppers for Black Summer. And Ozzy's Patient Number no. 9 is also up for Best Rock Album alongside Machine Gun Kelly's Mainstream Sellout. MGK was also on hand to announce some of the nominations and he told us about putting together the album earlier this year and why he didn't want to repeat himself after Tickets to My Downfall. As I progress in my sound and in my life, I think, you know, anger is represented in a different way with different tones or like, you know, happiness is represented in a different way. And then also too, you know, I'm a, I'm a hip hop artist. So it's like that element has to, to, that has to come to play. Elsewhere, a new award for Best Alternative Music Performance saw a huge amount of UK success, with Arctic Monkeys nominated alongside Florence and the Machine and Wet Leg, who are also nominated in the Best Alternative Music Album and Best New Artist categories. Wet Leg had a huge 2022, even receiving praise from Foo Fighters frontman Dave Grohl during our chat earlier this year. You know, I am really excited about wet leg and i consider them a rock band i mean they you know they might not detune and wear corpse paint but i mean i look at them like oh they have a bass and a guitar and some drums also nominated in the best new artist category are monoskin since conquering at eurovision back in 2021 tracks including i want to be a slave and their cover of begging have been huge hits worldwide plus the band even got asked to support the rolling stones out in the u.s I don't know, it's just, I think the craziest thing is when you get to really meet and just play and do music with these big, big legends that you grew up listening to and that's like the reason why we started playing and we've been covering their songs since we were like kids, so it almost feels unreal to like meet them in person and just to know that they know who you are. Gale's ABCDEFU is nominated for Song of the Year alongside the likes of Adele, Taylor Swift, Harry Styles and Kendrick Lamar. The track reached number one in the UK and this nomination caps off a huge year for Gale whose highlights include being asked to support My Chemical Romance in Dublin. I, I did the show in Dublin, Ireland and I had never been there before so it's also it's a bit intimidating to play your music in a place that you've never been before because you don't know the attitude on it, you don't know if people like it or if they even know it um, and it was people sing the song back to me and I was able to talk to the band and it just even the fact that they like were just like letting, they picked me to open up for them like that was absolutely insane. Full nominations are up online now via the Recording Academy and find out who wins when the ceremony airs on CBS this February. That's your Roxanne News Update. I've been James Wilson-Taylor. We will see you again soon.